Islamists in Great Britain are moving toward a counterattack. Armed with machetes, among other things, they are patrolling British streets. They attack isolated white Englishmen. The police are not responding, and this only increases people's anger and frustration. I am sick of being scared every day when I leave my f***ing house just to go to work to earn a living like what you lot are doing. But I ain't got a baton. I ain't got a Taser, yeah, if someone wants to come and stab me, I'm dead. Then what are you lot gonna do? Islamists, on the other hand, are feeling increasingly confident in Great Britain. A man who introduced himself as the head of the local community demanded that the crew stop working as he approached Michal Bardinsky, a journalist from our TV station, who is preparing for live coverage. What's the problem? What's the problem? You, you guys. guys are problem. You guys are problem. You staying here? You don't nobody have a, nobody do film here. And you guys and doing why why we can stay here? No, well, I'm asking why are you guys here? I want to know why you guys are here. The Muslims called the police, and the police, instead of ensuring the safety of our team, warned that it would be better if they left. Censorship in the UK is ever present, and it's also worth noting the role of the police who come to the authors of comments on Facebook. The police willingly carry out the orders of the Muslim community by becoming their real spokesperson. The day before yesterday, a Sky News TV reporter experienced a similar situation. She had to stop her coverage under pressure from several masked Islamists. Despite the British media taking the side of the immigrants, protesting Britons are being called far-right thugs. Great Britain, the BBC, used to boast that there is no censorship there. Well, there in the UK there is censorship that is very unfortunately intrusive. What your reporter experienced yesterday only confirms this. Authorities and the media also accused the ex-portal and its owner, Elon Musk, of provoking riots. In fact, the billionaire's portal is currently the only mass media outlet that presents accounts of both sides of the conflict. However, publishing comments that are inconvenient to the authorities is punished with lightning speed. Over 400 people now have been arrested, 100 have been charged, some in relation to online activity, and a number of them are already in court. And I'm now expecting substantive sentencing before the end of this week. That should send a very powerful message to anybody involved, either directly or online. Such appeals, however, are having the opposite effect. Today alone, protests by Britons are expected to take place in more than 30 towns and cities. The Prime Minister's stance is being mocked by Islamists. Protection ourselves and a message to Kia Starmer. Message to Kia Starmer is we don't need your funding. We will fund and protect the house of Allah. <laughs> Islamists openly say they are taking control of Great Britain and the British people. They are already having to fight for their children's future, not only against gangs of Islamic illegal immigrants, but also against their own government.